I'm just sat outside having a quick coffee before I head to work this morning and I just wanted to let you know what's going to be happening this week. Um, so the first probably till Wednesday I've got some bridesmaid's dress and wedding dress alterations that I need to get done and then I'm going to start work on the Liberty dress which you saw me design last week in the vlog so and I just wanted to say hi and welcome to all the new subscribers I've had recently so welcome to my channel thanks for joining me here if there's anything you want to see any videos you want to see or tutorials just let me know and I'll do my best to fit them into my plan so have a great week everyone and I'll be back probably later in the week to show you me starting sewing the Liberty dress. Hi, welcome back. Um, it's Sunday now. This week um, everything took longer than I expected to so I finished a wedding dress alteration, three bridesmaids dresses alterations, a headpiece, two quotes and I've been at work so <laughs> it's been yeah another crazy week. So. I got a bit of fan mail in the post this week so Julianne thank you so much I absolutely love it you might have seen it on my Instagram stories go and follow me on Instagram if you haven't already um, and Twitter not that I post much on Twitter and Facebook but it's, yeah mainly Instagram where I post these days so but Julianne made this for me after she was watching my vlogs when I was struggling with um, my anxiety and panic attacks and just um, having that sort of crippling self-doubt that a lot of creative people go through so she made me this beautiful card it says oh it says I believe in you isn't that beautiful and it's got the most gorgeous message inside it and I'm gonna read I hope you don't mind Julianne that I'm sharing this so so it says dear Vicky this is fan mail I grew up in the 90s when people still did that I did that too in the 90s so I wanted to let you know that I really admire what you've done with rock stars and royalty. You have tremendous talent and inspire me daily. It's so beautiful. I'm so touched. Thank you so much for taking the time to do this. It means everything. And I'm going to treasure this and put it up in my studio. Um, and it's amazing how something as simple as telling someone that you admire them, that you like their work, and can just turn around someone's whole day and whole attitude as well. So if you, if you admire someone, if you love their work, if someone's inspiring you, go and tell them because you'll make their day. You really will make their day. It'll two seconds out of your day to write a little message and yeah, you don't know how far that that goes to helping someone's confidence and if they're dealing with anxiety and depression too, it's yeah, something like that can really, really give you the boost that you need sometimes. So, so thank you. I will treasure this whatever. Thank you. And I've spoken before about how I often attach lyrics and songs to dresses so I had a little quote that I'd written that I was going to use but it wasn't quite right I wasn't quite sure about it and then I was listening to Queen the other day the song Innuendo and there's a line in that that is just perfect for this so that's now my quote and so the quote for Liberty is let me get this right you can be anything you want to be just turn yourself into anything that you think that you could ever be be free it's just perfect. It just fits in with everything that I'm doing at the minute. Um, and speaking of Queen, I went to see We Will Rock You on Friday night, which was absolutely amazing. And so production here in Canberra, I think it's going to Wollongong next. It's just finished in Canberra. It's heading to Wollongong. So if you're up there, go and see it. Amazing cast. There's some brilliant local performers there. And it was just a superb production. Um, just absolutely loved it. And tonight I'm going to go and see Bohemian Rhapsody. So it's definitely a weekend of Queen and then finding the lyrics for the Liberty Dress to... It's, yeah, I love Queen. Freddie Mercury is definitely one of my creative heroes. Um, he was an absolute genius and one of a kind and greatly missed, just timeless, classic, amazing music. He was, yeah, Freddie was just a genius. So really looking forward to seeing Bohemian Rhapsody tonight. Okay, I'm going to start with the corset. So this corset is a half-made sample of my Trixie corset, which is one of my semi-couture customizable corsets on my website. Um, I don't know I never finished it I must have half made it when I had time and then popped it in a box so the outside is all together you can see it's this beautiful mother of pearl sequins so that's all together I just need to press the seams open and then the inside again is all together I've even stitched all the bone casings in there to make corsets like this what I do is I join the top add the boning and then join the bottom and turn it through by the center back then all the boning channels are hidden on the inside. So I'll show you how I do that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go and press these seams open. 
I've pressed all the seams open. Next, I'm just going to tack um, two little bits of satin on the side. So these go on as I sew the lining and outside together. And then when they're in the right way, and then this helps stop the sequins rubbing under your arm a little bit. So what I've done is I've measured down half a centimetre more than my seam allowance and pin this on and then I've done it so it just fades out by the side front seam and before we get to the centre back. So next I'm going to trim that and just tack it in place so it doesn't move as I stitch the um, lining and the outside together. So that's how that looks once it's all tacked on. So next I can join my lining and outside layers together along the top. Now it's all pinned I'm going to stitch my seam allowance all along the top. You can see at the end I've just folded the seam allowance back because eventually once the top and bottom are um, sewn and the boning's in I turn it the right way through these back seams. Next I'm going to trim away a lot of this excess at the top and then I'm going to under stitch along that top as well. So this is how it looks joined at the top under stitched and then you can see that little ridge of satin once it's all turned in the right way just sticks up above and that just helps stop that top of the sequins under your arm just rubbing a little bit. Sequins do rub, it's just the way they are, they are rough. So if you do decide to make something from sequins or if you buy something made from sequins, just you've got to expect that. So this part might just still rub a little bit sort of down the inside of your arm, but this really helps stop that top part rubbing because that's the bit that I find is the worst by far. So now that's joined, the next thing is to put the boning in. So with the boning, we've got a one and a half centimetre seam allowance at the bottom. So I stop the boning at two centimetres. Once I've boned the whole of the inside, then I join right sides together along the bottom. Sewing's on hold at the minute because my husband's decided that he is going to chainsaw up a tree. So I'm not going to complain because he keeps our garden beautiful. So um, I'm going to go and work on editing the vlog for a minute or for a little bit till he's done and then hopefully I'll have time to start sewing again. So by the time my husband finished chainsawing and moving all the wood out of the way from the branches he'd chopped down off those trees, um, it was time to cook dinner and now it is time to, for me to go and pick up Kartiko and go and see Bohemian Rhapsody. So I didn't actually get back out here and do any more sewing which is, is a bit disappointing but never mind, I can pick it up tomorrow. So I was hoping to get the corset finished today, but it wasn't meant to be. I guess Sundays are, it's always hard to get stuff done on Sundays because there's almost always stuff that needs doing not work related. So